I got mail from the AH. Nice. Oops. Okay, so we're going to get their end and in quest quest in Nasus. Go fly back to Aberdeen. Go back to Aberdeen, take a boat back to Manithal Arbor. And then we'll go to Interlands. Sprinkle's secret ingredients. Interlands, and then and in quests. And quests in Booty Bay.
Best in Booty Bay. Sorry, Searing Gorge. West End Blasted Lands. West and Burning Steps. I'll say. Another shipment. Yep. Thank you for your help. The Hippogriff population simply wouldn't flourish if it weren't for us. How did it work here? So you best be on your way. Christus Amora. Aranda Whisperings. This report. We night elves know of the terror mentioned here. Fizz Dowser was wise to send this to you and to me. These creatures will consume the Tanar's desert rapidly. They are nothing short of one of the greatest menaces we will ever face. Familiarize yourself with this name, Kishon, Silithid. The insects mentioned here are the Silithid, and they are the tools of one of the greatest threats that both the Horde and Alliance face. If only we were smart enough to see that before. It would seem that the Silithid's intent, nay, reason, for being is to devour everything in their path that is not of their ecology. Their focus is singular, and it is for this reason they are given a grave threat for life on Azeroth. What we've seen to this date is but the first stages. I suspect that their strength comes from deeper in Kalimdor, Ungoro Crater. Go to Gadgetzan in the Tanaris Desert and speak to Alchemist Pestlezug. Tell him of my theory. He will surely aid us in fighting the Silithid. Goddess, watch over you. March of the Silithid. 
pretty sure that's like the start of the raid. If I'm not mistaken. Owie. I've always liked the different names for the different guards in the different major alliance cities. Like here, the the city guards for Darnassus literally are called sentinels. For humans, they're just like knights. <sighs> Forget what they are for Iron Forge, but there's something different. I'm, th I'm sure. I gotta say, hearing this music right here, right now, reminds me a lot of Lord of the Rings. I wonder if that's where they got inspiration. What brings you here? Um. Good luck. There's a lot of people in for like rock depths, isn't there? Well, there's a shaman, a priest, and two druids. Okay, these two are DPS, but one of these two have got to be a healer. But they're just waiting for a tank. I know they are. <laughs> That's crazy, the change they made to the base warrior talent tree. And they gave Rend its own talent thing.
Oh, they changed Dauntless to this. Oh, we got it. Bro, they're giving us a talent that we have here. It's here somewhere. Okay. Okay, so Concussive Blow, which is a talent we have in Classic. But we got... Another talent in Dragonflight, it's called Concussive Blows. Pull down a pummel reduced by 1.5 seconds. Successfully interrupting an enemy increases the damage you deal against them by 5% for 10 seconds. This may only occur once every 30 seconds. But what they're doing is they're reducing the cooldown of pummel by, in this talent, and then they're also giving you the... Uh, Uh, what is it called? Interrupting Roar or something. Whatever that, whatever that talent was in BFA. Or Cacophonous Roar or something, whatever it was called. They move anger management better than what I thought. No, it didn't move. I'm so confused, man. It said that... This is data mind actually. That's why. Anchor management talent position changed. It's what does data mind mean though? Like it's not it says in the alf in the alpha build.
This is Paladin. Auras of the Resolute. Learn Concentration Aura and Devotion Aura. Why do we... Why is there Paladin... Like, talents and stuff? Well, I, th I guess I was gonna go from Arborden to... to Mendical Arbor. This, this works just as good, I guess. Yeah, like, look. This is data mind warrior changes. Auras of the Resolute. This is paladin stuff. Why is it under the warrior stuff? And yeah, I checked my YouTube video that I made earlier. Anchor management was in the same spot as it is now. But it says it was moved. Maybe there's some updates I haven't made. Oh man, they put impending victory <laughs> right under battle stance, so you can't take it as a prot warrior unless you want battle stance. Oh man. Okay. We'll have a look at that in a bit here. Oh no, this takes me to Booty Bay, right? No, oh no, this is not Booty Bay. We go to the hinterlands and get this quest. This here quest.
Yeah, I think uh, I think I'll be good for questing here. I have kind of I have I have a plan laid out. Oh, did I? Damn. I didn't mean to do that. I have a plan laid out here. But the moment this is done, this is done. do as much as I can in Searing Gorge. And then I'll and then I'll move to Blasted Lands. Uh. Hey, Chalky Milk. I really, I really, really like the hinterlands. I, I like this this place because it's it's very um, it's, it's very natural, and not only is it very natural, but you got like actual griffins that are tamed here. Yeah, I'll get as much done in Searing Gorge as I can, and then if if there's they're more than likely going to be quests that I can't do because they're too high, I'll leave those. Go do like everything I can in Blasted Lands. Hopefully, all of it. And then I can come back to Searing Gorge, finish that off, and then go to. Uh, the Burning Steps. And probably just do burning steps until I'm 58. And then, look, and then that's when I'll stop there and probably look at Outland and Burning Crusade content. Exciting, exciting. We are almost there. We are almost there. They're getting exactly what I was getting to. Okay, now that I did that... Now I hand quest into Booty Bay, so I'm just gonna... gonna teleport to Stormwind and fly from there to Booty Bay. It's much faster. are called upon uh, to heed these words. A call to arms has been issued by the Kingdom of Stormwind. All able-bodied individuals are entreated 
to take up arms against a dark threat of the scourge in the northern lands of the eastern kingdoms rumors fly of new threats rising from the ruins of the plague lands heroes of the realm seek out commander ashlam valerfist who has set up his base up in chillwind camp north of altrak mountain see you later and uh i'll get that too Actually, while I'm here, I'll sell all this crap. I'll get that too, just so I have it in case I need more places to level. That will be another place I could go. And it, it, pro it won't be until later, because I have a plan up until... Be careful. I want to say at least level 54, 55. Everyone's playing. Everyone's playing retail. Very nice, very nice. We're gonna we're gonna check out uh, We're gonna check out um, the talent trees. Um, after, after I jump on retail to check what I got in my, check what I got in my vault. And you know I didn't I didn't quite get to where I wanted to get to today, which was fifty-two. We're we're gonna be about we're gonna be just over halfway there. But you know what? That's fine. We're gonna hit it hard again tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I can hit 54, 55. Shooting for 54 though, that's the goal. But tomorrow is also raid day, so I might I might start the stream a little a little later in the day. Um, in the morning, I mean. So instead of starting at like 6, 7 in the morning, I'll start at maybe 9 in the morning. And then I'll just level on Classic all the way up until Raid. And then Raid at the end.
Alright, I know where this guy is. McKinley. your booze. Have a good one. I think I'll stay with what I have, but I am really tempted to put those boots on, even though I'm lose. I'm replace. I get one strength, but replace the stamina with agility. Hey. Hello, the lad. The names Uncle Thorpe, and I may be responsible for one of the amazing numerous devices you might possess. If it blew up, then it wasn't me. If it made you rich enough, we can discuss royalties. <laughs> nice. Oh, you're the great savior of OOX-17 slash TN. I cannot even be, uh, begin to express my thanks for your assistance. My homing robot series needs more developing, but your recovery has saved me countless hours of rebuilding time, as well as many gold pieces and rebinding costs. Please, take your choice of any of these items I have. Hopefully, you'll make good use of one of them. Thank you again for your generous assistance. My robots and I are in your debt. Oh, you have a great more. day now. You have a great day now. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm just, I'm, I'm just over halfway mark. Got about 50k left. Oh, I did it again. Damn it. But I gotta hand this quest into Tanara still, so maybe I'll do that before I stop here. That way, tomorrow, when I uh, start this, start the stream, start playing, I can I can just continue in Searing Gorge and just quest rather than running from point A to point B. Where does the Booty Bay boat go? Ratchet. You know what? It's probably beneficial to just whoop, just wait for uh, that boat. That boat goes to Ratchet. Probably better to just wait for the boat to come back. I will not put it on. I've changed my mind. Wow, wow. Kind of want to use a regular bow. Not going to lie. What up? Be good. Looking for something specific? Be careful.
Oh look, there's the boat already. I thought we would have to wait a little longer. Nice. Yeah, so they're bringing they're bringing out the fresh servers, um, the fresh um, like level one servers for people to start on. Uh, before Wrath comes out, when Wrath pre patch comes out, but the issue with that is. A lot of people will be going there, so that's kind of what I'm shooting shooting to be 70 by. Forty points. Okay, so it looks like whenever the pre patch does come out, I will even if I'm not max level, I should be able to no problem. Uh, get my Titan's Grip. Which is exciting. Alright, now we fly down back to Tenaris. Quick and easy, saved way more time. I need money, friend! Keep it real! We sa I saved way more time doing that than I did anything else. Not going to lie. But I mean, to be fair though, I would have definitely been 52 and I probably would have been f pushing fifth level 53 on this character today if it weren't for the, well, the Sunken Temple mishap uh, event issue. Uh, as well uh, as well as if I didn't lose what was it two or three hours this morning when the servers went down uh Let's see here. Let's see, two hours in. Two and a half. Yeah, it was like two and a half hours uh, in. It, it was two and a half hours I didn't at the beginning that I didn't have access. That would have been probably a one level right there. The Sunken Temple. The time I spent in Sunken Temple, which is about like an hour. As well as uh, like two and a half hours on top of that.
that I that I lost this morning. That's that's probably in total that's about three and a half hours I'd say, almost four hours. Almost four hours. Oh, I got two quests here. Nice. The March of the Silithid will probably. Well, we'll see. There might be more. There might be more to that quest line. March of the Silithid. I bet you any money that's a quest line that leads into the raid. Like, we're gonna have to go to Silithus now. I guess Silithus is right beside Ungoro Crater to the to the left, which is right beside Tanaris. Alrighty then. Here you go, Sprinkle. Got your Tragrin. Just sit tight while I get this prepared. Here's a violet powder. Take it to Marin and tell him he owes me a favor. Customer. Yes, I gathered that Grisina sent you to me. Your experience in fighting these beasties is priceless. No one to my knowledge has ever dealt with their kind before. As for Grisina's idea that Ungoro Crater is their heart. Oh, Ungoro Crater is their heart. Perhaps it is. Ungoro is a mysterious and dangerous jungle to the west of here. Perhaps it is also one step closer to figuring out what the Silithid are all about. My research revealed to me that the Silithid are like beasts. Destroy the queen of the hive, the rest of them should be thrown into disarray. With, uh, I'll brew a lure that we'll use to bring out the queen. Once summoned, you'll take her down. What? First of all, we need some reagents. We don't want to go bungling into the jungle unprepared. Go west to find the Silithid hive in Angoro Crater and obtain a scent gland. Uh, from one of the bugs. I'll also need some samples of the native Ungoral soil. Keep it real. Okay. That's a level 53 quest. Uh, definitely not... Uh, definitely not something I want to be hitting right now, I'll tell you that much. I want to level up a bit first. But it's something I'll keep in mind, though. Talk to me! And I'll eventually do. Oh, Kijan, you're finally back. What have you brought? Violet powder, eh? Let's give it a try. It sure couldn't make it any worse, that's for sure. Now to mix the powder in with the dew. Come back and talk to me in a minute after I've perfected the fabulous Noggenfogger Elixir. Oh, this is a Noggenfogger yeah. Elixir quest. I'm going to carefully mix this. Oops, well, I spilled a little, but it's ready. Drink this, it's absolutely wonderful. I knew I had it in me. Oh, thanks again, Kishan, for your help. But please, stand a little to the side, will you? You're blocking my business. I'm going to make millions off the fabulous Noggenfogger elixir. Millions. What's that? Sprinkle says our favor? Oh, that's Sprinkle. Such a kidder. So by the looks of it, the only quest I have left here is the, the super sick sticky stuff. And this... Bungle in the jungle, which I want to do because it's gonna end a quest line that has something to do with the Silithid, which is actually kind of important. Um, but I can do them both here, and I will once I'm higher level. I'll come back here and do both these quests here, and then finish off the quest quest line here in Gadget Sand because the Silithid is like I think it's Cthulhu, right? The Silithid are controlled by Cthulhu, which is the old god. And he resides in Silithus. 
down here on Courage. Yes, crazy. All right. Now that we've done that, we're going to Searing Gorge. Not ready yet. What? Oh, it's an hour long. Oops. Uh, okay. Oh, how do you spell this place? That's with Tenaris. See if I can get a port somewhere. right here nice beautiful nice he didn't want gold or anything I am so used to mounting up and they're just flying off into the distance. <laughs> All right. We're off to the blasted land. I hate the look of this sword and stuff, and it wasn't a huge upgrade. I'm just curious if there's something else that might be an upgrade. No, I don't think I'll get one. I'll be downgrading if I do. Unless I wanted to blow my money on this and lose all that stamina. And gain well, healing out of combat instead. No, instead I'm just gonna keep what I have. What does this do? Oh, it's this one! That's right! That's pretty cool. <laughs> nice. Hello. A ten minute thing, and that's really cool. But I'm gonna keep it down here. Have a good that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Oh, I check for bags while I'm here. I can do that. What do I have right now? 
I've got 12 and 10 slot bags. I'm gonna lose like all kinds of money for something better. These are so expensive. Nether weave. There's a 16 slaughter. Or gold, huh? Necessary. That's five, ten, fifteen. Twenty. okay I blew 20 gold but I got I gained uh, 6 12 18 22 spots of big space so I believe it was worth it Put that inside as well. This is adorable to have a little chicken, but good day to you. Not really mandatory to take up space like that. See you later. Get my 20 nether weave bandage, or mage weave bandage. Awesome. Now we fly to Searing Gorge.
Yep, take, take me there. Yeah, we got a decent amount of quests here to do. That should take me to 52 and like hopefully it would get me to 53 with more quests. 